probability of independent events. A bag contains four red balls, five blue balls and six green balls. A ball is picked, replaced and second ball is picked. Find the probability of picking two green balls. And the second part is find the probability of picking a green ball and then blue ball. Now in this example what we see is that there are two things happening. That means you are twice picking from the same bag. It is called a compound event since the, there are two events involved. So whenever there is more than one event then we say it is a scenario of compound events. And the second term is dependent and independent. So with this video we will try to understand how to find probability when the events are independent. So what does that independent mean? Independent means that when the first thing happens then the second thing can happen in the same way as if the first has no effect on it, right? So when the two events do not influence the outcome of one another, then they are independent events. Uh, is that scenario being discussed here? This is what you need to check. So the question here is, a bag contains four red balls, five blue balls and six green balls, right? So let's randomly draw four red balls. That is one, two, three, four. So there are four red balls and five blue balls. Let me draw five blue balls. Randomly one, two, three, four and let's say five. And how many six? Six green balls, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six green balls. So these are randomly placed in a bag and we are trying to pick balls from here. A ball is picked replaced. So if you pick a ball here and then you replace it, then the scenario is exactly same as if we started from the very beginning. So in that case, and the second ball is picked. There are two events. First event is picking up a ball from this set of balls. And once you do that, you actually replace that ball. Let's say you picked up a red ball. Then you replace it. And then you picked up the next ball. But when you pick the next ball, it really doesn't depend what was taken away earlier since it was replaced. So the two events are independent. Do you see that? If you would not have replaced, then the second would have got influenced. Let's say you replace. If you pick up red and don't replace it, that means the total number of balls will become, instead of 15, 14 with one less red ball. So the probability will be different for the second case since the total number of balls are different, correct? So that will be dependent events. So I hope you understand independent and dependent. Now let's answer the question. So the question here is, find the probability of picking two green balls. That means we'll write this as probability of picking two green, right? Since we are replacing, so what we can say is, First time when you pick up a, prob a green ball, what is the probability? First time the probability is that there are 6 green balls out of 15 in all. So it is 6 out of 15. Do you see that? Now we replace it. So what is the probability of picking green ball again? Again, it is 6 out of 15. Correct? That is the second time. Now what is the probability that you pick up both green. That means first you pick green, then again you pick green. It is product of these two. So whenever we have probability of independent events simultaneously occurring one after the other, then the answer is product of those two. Right? So in this case it is 6 over 15 times 6 over 15 and we get 36 over 15 times 15 which is 225. So that becomes our answer. Right? Now let's go through the second question. I will adopt a slightly different approach this time. The idea here is to apply different approaches for the same problem so that you learn. And everybody learns and everybody likes different techniques. I hope you like the second one better than the first. Here, find the probability of picking a green ball and then blue ball. Okay, so first green ball. So what is the probability of picking a green ball? How many green balls are there? 6. Total number of balls? 15. That is the probability of picking a green ball. Let us say you have picked up a green ball. Then it has to be replaced. 
you have replaced and again the bag has how many balls 15 with combination of four red balls five blue balls and six green balls now then blue ball now second time what is the probability of picking a blue ball how many blue balls are there there are five blue balls five out of total of four plus five plus six which is 15 right so it is 5 over 15 or you can say it is 1 over 3 right I'm just reducing this I could have done this here also 6 over 15 dividing both by 3 will give me 2 over 5 correct is better to write this now the question is what is the probability of picking green and then a blue ball right with replacement with replacement is that okay it is product of these two it is 2 over 5 times 1 over 3 that gives us the answer 2 times 1 is 2 and 5 times 3 is 15 so we get an answer of 2 over 15 so that is the probability of picking a green ball and then blue ball do you see that these are independent events if I reverse the things even then this answer will be same in these independent events right so that is the beauty but if in case we are not replacing then we'll get different answers so that becomes compound events which are dependent we'll see now compound events which are dependent okay in the next example thank you and all the best